problems with your presentations, boring designs and animations, pictures, music, and videos? Come and enjoy and let's discover Canva. Let's make beautiful designs with your photos, videos, and presentations as easy as one, two, three. Okay, so let's get started with our Canva. So the first thing we need to do is to sign up for a Canva account. So just go to your browsers and go to canva.com. Then click for Canva and then sign up for a for an account so you can sign up with Google with Facebook or with email so if you are a teacher like me you need to sign up for Canva for education account using our um, government email or the deped.gov.ph email so that we can have Canva for education for free so that's for lifetime it's free you need just to sign up and then complete or fill up everything that is needed and then send and a confirmation you will receive from Canva. So for example, if you already have your Canva account. So I have here my Canva for Education account. So what can Canva can offer us? So in Canva, we can create a design for our presentation, resumes, logo. We can also create a Zoom virtual background, Facebook cover, infographics, poster. We can also have um, design for our Google Classroom header and for the different social media account. So we can also use Canva for book covers, brochures, business cards. CD cover certificates, schedules, desktop, wallpaper, Facebook posts, videos, and a lot, lot more. So, if you are a content creator for YouTube, you can also use this Canva for your YouTube channel art and YouTube thumbnail. So, mostly of my YouTube thumbnail is made from Canva. So, let's start and let's discover what we have in Canva okay so for example we're going to have our Canva project so we first here in the upper we have the menus we can put our title here for, for our designs so for example we have um, make it sample then here there are some tabs here so we're going to discuss it one by one first we have the templates so Canva has a lot of templates you can choose from. So here, there are a lot of templates. So, yeah. so you can start your design by using these templates. Next is the uploads. So you can upload your images or videos. So from here, ayan yung mga aking uploads. You can upload by just clicking the upload and then upload from your device or from Facebook, from your Google Drive, Instagram, or your from Dropbox. So you can upload pictures or videos. Here are photos. So here are the um, photos from the web. So it's a real life photos. So for example, if going to um, choose or going to look for a specific photo, so you're just uh, write it here in the search bar. So for example, you're going to look for trees. So here. And all the trees photos that they have will be um, here. So you can choose different. Now, here are the elements. 
what are the elements so this is where you can see different kinds for example lines so you have here the lines and so lines arrows circles line shapes here then we also have frames uh, shapes shapes are for example this one shape if you're going to click that it will be put it here so you can change the color of the shape for example this one you want to change the color just tap this icon here then choose the color that you want for example spread so using these cursors you can um, minimize or enlarge it like this Or if you want to change your shape, just go to your elements and this one. These are the shapes. Now what's the difference between the shape and the frames? Frames are like, um, you can identify them with this. Kapag frame siya, meron siyang ganitong design. Because you can put pictures on it. So, para lang siyang picture frames, mga ganon. So, for example, you're going to put the picture there. So, lagyan natin kunyari siya ng picture. For example, here, photo. So, if you're going to click it there, yun, mapupunta na siya dun sa frame. You can also enlarge it or minimize it. So, yun yung gamit ng mga frames natin. So, meron din siyang iba't ibang shapes and designs. Now, here are the different stickers. So, na under pa rin yan ng elements. Ito yung mga stickers that you could use. So, yan. There are animated stickers. Oh, marami kayo mak makikita dyan. So, if you want to look for something, you just click it here. For example, heart stickers. So, lalabas na po dyan lahat ng ating stickers na pwede natin ilagay. Example, this one. Ayan, you can use that for designing your designs or your presentations. O, after stickers, we also have charts, grids, gradients so ito marami dyan so you can use everything under the elements after that element you can is the text you can use your own text by the size ito yung heading big sabihin ito yung pinakamalaki then subheading and a little bit of body text or you can use the text that they have, the combination. For example, if you want like this, just click and mapupunta na siya sa iyong area. O, kung mapapansin nyo, itong ating text ay nakagroup. So, what are you going to do is you just click this one and ungroup para pwede mo siyang i-edit one by one. See? Click muna natin itong isa. Ayan. For example, this one. So, if you want to enlarge it, just go here in the size. So, para lang tayo nasa Word din, nasa PowerPoint. Ayan. This one. Ayan. So, that is for our text. So, pwede kayong pumili din Dito, we have different types of text or fonts that you can use. Then, the part is the text tab. Next one is we have music. So, if you have your presentations already, you can put some music. So, this is from the music library of Canva. For. So, pag napansin nyo, may nakalagay ng mga corona or crown that is for 
Pro. If you are Canva Pro, you can use everything. But if you're not, you're just using the free Canva. So if you're going to use this, may buy it. But if you are a teacher and then you used your um, Canva for education and you have your email account under DepEd or the DepEd.gov.ph, pwede na nating magamit yan even it is pro. Kasi that's our, one of our um, package na kuha natin from Canva. So, we're just going to use our Canva account for Canva for Education account. So, pwede natin gamitin yung mga pro. The next is the video. So, we can also use the videos here na nakalagay sa ating Canva. For example, we have another. Um, if we want a this one. So, this one is a video. Video clip na siya. Ayan. So, you can use this video already. So, pwede nyo siyang i-stretch if you want. Yan. So, if you're going to use that video, pwede na. If you want to put something on the video, so, put a tayo ng click. Just click this one and mapupunta na siya dyan. So, ito siya, diba? Ungroup muna natin para maayos natin. So, kung ayaw natin ito, pwede natin siyang i-delete dito. Meron tayong dito ng delete button. And, ayan. So, liitan natin ng konti. Just using your cursors, pwede na yan. That one. So, kapag ano, pwede natin i-play. Ayan. Meron siya dyan. So, we can use the video. Then, the next one, ang ating background. So, background natin if you want to start from scratch and you're not going to use the template, pwede kayong mag gamit ng background. So, you have your landscapes, patterns, gradients, abstract, food, textures, flowers, so for example, this one. Ayan. So, just click and drag or you just click at automatic. Pupunta naman na siya dun sa ating active area. So, ayan na yung ating background. We use the background of flowers. Then, pwede na kayong maglagay ng text dyan if you want. So, for example, mula sa text, this one. Ayan. So, if you want it a bigger one, this one. So, if you want, customize pa natin siya ng konti. So, just ungroup. Pwede natin siyang ilagay dito or pwede ganyan lang. Pwede palitan ng color. So, here, just change the color. Ayan. Then this one, also the background, you can uh, minimize the color or the trans transparency. So, pwede natin yung i-light ng konti para hindi siya ano. Yan. And the last one is, ah, not yet, is the folders. Kung... Yung all your designs, so lahat ng mga ginawa nyo nandiyan sa folders. And then, click more. So, meron pa kayong iba. So, from Canva. So, different apps. For example, you have your emojis, your YouTube, Google Maps, your Facebook, or your Bitmoji. So, Bitmoji is also here. So, here. Ito, kanyari, nandito na yung aking Bitmoji. I can also put this Bitmoji in my Canva design. So, for example, this one, I'll put this. So, yan. So, I just click and I'll drag.
there. So, yan yung mga bitmoji. So, yan mostly yung ating Canva. So, next time that we're going to use is paano na tayo kumuha ng something, a design in Canva. So, ayun muna for the meantime and see you next time.